What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the brand new 2025 Honda CRV, courtesy of Sioka Honda of Hanover in Hanover, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. So we are in the new CRV today because this is Honda's best-selling SUV. It's been in the US now since 1997, believe it or not. It competes with others like the Toyota RAV4, Mazda, the CX-50 and Honda Tucson, just to name a few. But ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing and so as you can imagine there are a few different trim levels for the 2025 crv first one is going to be the lx starting at thirty thousand one hundred dollars which is a six hundred dollar bump from the 2024 model year ex for thirty two thousand three fifty and lastly the exl being the one we are in today starting at thirty five thousand dollars even but regardless of the trim level that you go with the power plant on the crv is going to be the same powering the beast is a 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder putting out 190 horsepower at six thousand RPM, 179 pound-feet of torque, coming in at 1700 RPM, that power being sent to front wheels or all wheels through a CVT, 0 to 60 time coming in at approximately 8.1 seconds, with MPG numbers coming in at 28 in the city, 34 on the highway for the front wheel drive, 27 city, 32 then on the highway for the all wheel drive, but taking regular unleaded fuel. So before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in the CRV, did want to mention to you guys the drive modes, there's a little toggle switch essentially located just to the left of the shift drive modes will include econ normal and snow adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response and the steering sensitivity so now have you got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find it straight away let's put this acceleration here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2025 honda crv here up to speed all right found our straightaway here in three two one go delay Wild. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> All right. See, so you shouldn't have any issues emerging onto the highway. It's not the very quickest thing in the world. There was a little bit of turbo lag there at the beginning, but having said that, a lot of SUVs do zero to 16 in around eight seconds flat. So you definitely shouldn't have any issues with that, but wish they would have changed the turbo lag a little bit. Maybe a mild hybrid system or something like that. I don't know, but anywho, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So up front, you will find 12.3 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 12.2 inch solid rear discs. As far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes, it comes in at a very respectable 123 feet. There is nothing wrong with that number whatsoever typically you find in the upper 120s if not the 130s for suvs at least so 123 feet that's that's right on par for the course that's pretty darn good as far as braking feel goes i love it that's actually really nice it's a little bit on the firmer side of things it's not a super firm braking feel uh but it's definitely not a loose braking feel either it's on the firmer side so wonderful wonderful braking feel in the crv without a doubt i would say they got that perfect at least but that touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get a mcpherson strut front suspension in the back independent multi-link rear suspension front and rear stabilizer bars as far as ride quality goes it's actually been really really good in my short little test drive here today uh hanover has some pretty bad roads too but so far it's absorbing the road imperfections perfectly fine so definitely don't have any issues there but the steering feel that's where Honda always gets it right. Honda and Mazda, those are always my two favorite for steering feel. And this is brilliant. It's weighted on the heavier side of things. Not super heavy, but it's weighted on the heavier side of things. So it better helps point you in the direction that you want to go. And I say it that way because typically in SUVs, you get a loosey goosey steering feel and it's unemotional and it's boring, but uh, Honda does a really good job with all of their vehicles when it comes to steering feel. And there's no exception here with the CRV. So wonderful steering feel in this thing. As far as cabin noise goes, I will say I'm getting a little bit of road noise. Uh, not any wind noise whatsoever, which is definitely pretty nice. Uh, but it's as expected, I guess, uh, as far as the road noise goes. So it wouldn't bother me personally. But then taking a look at rear visibility there, I can see 100% perfectly fine out my rear view mirror there. And the cool thing is about this second row headrest is they're kind of pushed out to the side a little bit more. A lot of times for whatever reason, um, the headrest will sometimes be too bulky or there'll be too much on the inside. So it'll be harder to look out the back. But in the CRV, it's 100% on point. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment in this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2025 
Honda CRV. All right, so here she is, you guys. The new 2025 Honda CRV finished in crystal black pearl. Definitely a good looking color on the CRV, in my personal opinion. But as always, let's go ahead and start with where the CRV is made. Taking a look at the VIN, first character is the number two, indicating that the Honda CRV is actually built and assembled in Canada, our neighbors up north. But let's go ahead and start up front on this one. Taking a look at the front grille first, I wanted to mention it is an active shutter front grille, meaning that the shutters are going to open and close depending upon the engine cooling that is needed at any given time. So pretty cool feature there. I first saw that on BMW. They have an active kidney front grille, they call it. So same concept, but to the sides, LED headlights with LED daytime running lights do come standard. Get the automatic feature with that. You also get automatic high beams coming standard as well. You got to love that for all trim levels. So if you have your high beams on at night and it senses the vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams and when that vehicle is gone it's going to automatically bounce it back up to high beams for you there so pretty darn cool and then to the bottom corners there there's a little bit of front air curtains helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination for a little better aerodynamics but like i said definitely good looking front end especially in this crystal black pearl that we have on this one here today but that pretty much rounds out the front end let's now go ahead and swing around to the side and some announcements we are around to the side of the crv chrome window surrounds will come standard rear privacy glass also coming standard for all trim levels taking a look at the side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors they will be heated for the ex and exl trim levels only then taking a look down at the wheel setup 17 inch steel wheels with covers for the lx trim but then 18 inch silver painted alloys for the ex and exl trim levels but again perfectly fine looking side profile let's now go ahead and swing around to the back all right and so now since we are around to the back of the crv love this look all the way to the top body colored shark fin antenna just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light just below that rear window wiper of course one of the cool things about the uh back end you're probably wondering as every single vehicle out there has the all-wheel drive badging if it has all-wheel drive honda actually puts it right underneath their window wiper there on the rear glass so in case you're wondering where that was kind of unique but Anyways, LED tail lights coming standard for all trim levels across the board. They definitely look very good as well. And if you're curious where the exhaust is, it is actually tucked away, but it is dual exhaust outlets. They are tucked away. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next here. As always, here is that exhaust clip. <laughs> All right, so now since we are around to the back of the CRV, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is going to be a power tailgate for the EXL trim level only. Otherwise, it's a manual tailgate, but there is a button on the P5. There's a rubberized button, of course, on the tailgate itself. And there is a button kind of by the driver's side left knee air vent kind of situation up here too. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 39.3 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down, bumping that up to 76.5 cubic feet. So definitely a decent amount of space, especially when you compare it to the competition there. LED cargo lighting does come standard. Gotta love that. There's some tie down anchors back there. You got grocery bags hooks as well. There's a 12 volt power outlet. Then if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you are going to find a spare tire, which you guys know I always love to see. So then making our way up to the rear leg room, this is where it really gets impressive here. 41 inches of rear leg room. That is well above average compared to the competitors there. For reference, I mean, even six feet tall. This is how much space I had in the back seats there. Rear center armrest with cup holders does come standard you got rear usb charging ports for the ex and exl trim levels only rear ventilation does come standard as well i think the only thing missing in my opinion at least for the rear passengers is some rear window sunshades that would have been cool to see maybe on the exl trim level or something like that because every now and then you got to get your kids fast food and then you pull into a parking lot to eat and one of the kids always has the sun in their eyes i'm just saying but then make your way up to the front seats manually adjustable cloth seats for the lx trim level leather seating for the EXL like we have today. 10-way power driver seat with two-way power lumbar for the EX and EXL trims, and then heated front seats for the EX and EXL trim levels as well. So overall, as far as seat comfort goes, it was wonderful. Reason being is because the power lumbar was incredibly adjustable. That isn't always the case, so I always like to emphasize it when it is. Seating was plenty comfortable here in the CRV, but now let's go ahead and take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped for the EXL trim level only, so 
definitely didn't have any issues with the steering wheel here. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key. If there wasn't a sticker on this one side, you would see a Honda logo. But then when you flip it over, lock, unlock that uh, circular button, that's a remote start, which comes on the EX and EXL trims. But it is all keyless entry with a push button start. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just to the left of those center air vents there. And so, once started up, when it comes to the gauges, there is a seven inch digital gauge cluster that does come standard. It's pretty cool, it's not that bad. You got your tachometer on your left, speedometer is on your right, and you can display different things up there by using the steering wheel mounted controls found on the left side of the steering wheel, giving you things like uh, range and fuel, there's speed and time, there's radio information, phone information, navigation information, there's all kinds of different things you can display up there. Uh, when you need your next oil change, the list goes on. So pretty much everything you could possibly want on a digital gauge cluster more or less but now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality there is an overhead sunglass holder that does come standard for all trims and it's a kind of feels like a heavy duty one too so some of them are kind of cheapy this one feels nice though uh power moonroof coming with the ex trim level and up led interior lighting for all trim levels across the board you gotta love that dual zoom climate control for the ex trim level and up but even the lx trim level still gets automatic climate control so you could just set a temperature it's going to automatically automatically hit it for you there so even the LX I don't have a problem with that auto dimming rear view mirror for the EX trim level and up you gotta love that so if somebody has their high beams on behind you it's not gonna affect you whatsoever a uh, wireless phone charger for the EX trim level and up uh, speaking of wireless phone charger uh, let's check out surrounding that uh, you got a little bit of rubberized storage a couple USB charging ports 12 volt power outlet just behind that you have the electromechanical parking brake all of your drive mode buttons I wish that was finished in maybe a gloss black though rather than the matte black plastic there but that's just me just behind that you have a couple cup holders and within the center armrest there is a ton of storage in there definitely more so than the competition there is storage for days in that center armrest so you gotta love that as well one of the cool things i liked about the interior quality is the uh, it was the first thing i noticed actually when i got in this one is the texturized finishes found on the doors just above the passenger side glove box or i should say just below that center air vent so that's kind of cool it does feel a little bit cheapy but i like that it's kind of a texturized finish so that's not that bad I like the silver door handles they didn't have to put silver door handles they could have left that a matte black plastic but they didn't so thank you honda for doing that some gloss black finishes on the doors as well so overall i think the only thing that i would personally change would just make the gloss black finish surrounding the shifter but everything else looks perfectly fine in my personal opinion but now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen you're going to find a seven inch color touch screen display for the lx and the ex but then a nine inch color touch screen display for the EXL that we have today. Either way though, you still get Bluetooth and audio streaming, you still get Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, you still get that freakishly cool Honda clock that uh, I always like to show, but also you can check out your radio information up there, of course. So when it comes to the sound systems, there are three of them. You get a different sound system for each trim level, believe it or not. So you get four speakers and 160 watts for the LX, six speakers and 240 watts for the EX, and then eight speakers and 320 watts for the EXL. Honda always does that. It's so unique, but anyhow. So we got the eight speaker sound system with us here today. Let's go ahead and turn on the radio. Let's see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one really relaxing song there i was digging that but that was actually a really good sound system i mean eight speakers 320 watts that works really well for the size of the crv there was plenty of bass clarity was crystal clear that was sirius xm so it is going to be crystal clear either way but yeah, plenty of bass there. That sounded really good for not being like a name brand sound system like Bose or Harman Kardon or something like that. So I actually don't mind that. But anyhow, last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the CRV in reverse, you will find a rear view camera with a couple different angles as well. It's not the highest quality rear view camera out there, but it does get the job done nonetheless. And that, as always, is going to lead us into safety. And so IIHS top safety pick, which is a heck of a start right there. Front side side curtain airbags do come standard you get driver and passenger knee airbags up front as well in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system but also coming standard in typical honda fashion Honda Sensing, that's their advanced safety suite. So that gives you a collision mitigation braking system, road departure mitigation system, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, forward collision warning, lane departure warning, traffic jam assist, traffic sign recognition, and a driver attention monitoring system 
as well. It's a good bit. Did want to mention on top of that, the EX trim level is going to add to all of that a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert. That's the little car icons in the side mirror so you don't turn into anybody in your blind spot. And then the EXL that we have today is going to add front and rear parking sensors. That's pretty darn cool as well. So it's going to beep at you if you get too close to something. But overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the CRV, great handling slash steering feel and braking feel. I'm going to combine all of that together. So that was all really, really nice. So in typical Honda fashion, typically the handling and the steering feel together is just wonderful. And it shouldn't necessarily be in an SUV. A lot of times, like I said, you get the loosey goosey steering feel, but Honda definitely always does a good job with that. Also plenty of space in this thing above average for its class. I liked that as well. Also want to mention, since I just heard it, excellent sound system, at least for the EXL, the eight speaker sound system did plenty fine in the CRV here, so I didn't have any issues there. As far as room for improvement goes, I'll give you two things here. A um, little bit of turbo lag at the beginning. I'm not always a huge fan of turbo lag, but uh, it's to be expected in any turbocharged four cylinder without a mild hybrid system, basically. But then again, that is what you got the hybrid CRV for, which typically I reserve for its own review, but that is available for you if you don't like the turbo lag. But the other thing is the matte black plastic surrounding the shifter. I would swap that out for gloss black or any kind of maybe silver finish probably gloss black would be better in this one because you got the gloss black on the doors but anywho just don't like the uh matte black plastic because that scratches so easily in the future but that pretty much rounds out this review you guys let me know what you think of the crv in the comment section below i do read your comments i'm always interested but feel free to follow me on social media if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to youtube be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know. I will see you guys all in the next video. Stick out.